like any farm, you have problems. Uh, one of the problems with insects that we have is an insect it's called a California red scale. What uh, the researchers have come up with is a tiny, tiny little wasp that we release into the orchard that actually parasitizes this scale insect. And it's our way of controlling that population so that it doesn't uh, create a, a bad looking or a bad tasting orange in the end. We have to deal with uh, insect problems, we have to deal with weeds, and uh, the way we deal with weeds is through cutting the weeds with weed eaters, uh, mowing them with a tractor and a mower, and versus uh, spraying them down with uh, with uh, chemical herbicides. The labor involved in producing an organic crop such as the citrus that you see here is is much uh, greater than a chemical approach to it. We're fortunate to be able to do this and it costs a lot more to produce an organic crop the right way. There's a lot more hand labor involved. Some of the amendments that we use are, are pretty expensive. It sort of takes all of those things together, especially the, the being able to have the people understand that are buying it that there's a reason that they're paying a premium for the piece of fruit beside the fact that it tastes a lot better than what they normally could buy in a grocery store. The organic growers that I know and, and I include ourselves are really stewards of the land. It's to our benefit as well as all the people's benefits in the world to take care of the land so that a hundred years from now these orange trees could still be producing or ones like them and in a way that is safe, that there's healthy soil for the roots to grow into, not just stimulated soil, sort of a, a, a steroid approach to farming too, you know, there's, there's certain uh, folks that would probably argue with me that it's better to go that way but uh, we take, I think, the more gentle path, but also a firm path that requires attention and it requires constant uh, reinvigorating. When for a tree to produce all of this fruit every year it takes a lot of energy and a lot of nutrition out of the soil. It has to be replenished. The question is, how do you replenish it? And we think that the way we replenish it through composting and other natural materials such as gypsum, feather meal, and cover crops is far better in the long run for us, for the trees, and for the planet. Well, it warms my heart to, to know that people are appreciating what you do because even though we have to have the bottom line as with in any business. We have to make a profit at the end of the day. It's getting there is so much more satisfactory uh, when you're working with people like the fruit guys who appreciate organic growing and appreciate organic farmers and the, uh, the food that they produce. So it to me it makes for uh, it just completes the circle of uh, uh, workability and uh, sustainability.